We're back with Dr. Mehmet Oz, the Republican nominee for U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania. Dr. Oz, welcome back. How are you? We're doing very well. Campaigning all over the Commonwealth, which is a far cry from my opponent who refuses to leave his home. But I tell you, we are focused on how radical he is and also my story. Because I'm the, the American dream come alive. My dad was an immigrant to this country. He knew that if you worked hard, America would reward you by allowing you to achieve your dreams. And that's exactly what I did. And I believe that dream can be achieved by everybody who's watching this program right now. And that's the fundamental divide between me and my opponent, who's n not worked. He lived off his parents until he was elected to an office recently and doesn't understand how the machinery of America works. You compare those two, a self-made person who was the American dream and a kid uh, of immigrants, versus someone who's grown up in luxury and privilege, as you said, and you understand why we differ philosophically on where we should go as a country. I believe in individualism. He believes in collectivism, which I can <laughs> tell you, knowing history, is not a good place to go. Uh, very interesting indeed, getting to know more about his uh, wealth and where it comes from. We have a commercial of yours all queued up. I think this is the first time it's ever been seen on television. It happens to feature the guy you're running against, John Fetterman. Let's take a look. Now that John Fetterman claims to be recovering, let's pull back his hoodie and examine what's in his head. Looks like he has some screws loose. What's this? <coughs> Fetterman wants to release one-third of all prisoners. That's crazy! Spend more tax dollars, everything will cost more. That's nuts. Slow energy production, gas prices will skyrocket. That's ridiculous. Socialized medicine? Where do you get these crazy ideas? Now it makes sense. Better close it up. John Fetterman is crazier than you think. <laughs> I like it. Uh, you, the Looney Tunes crew did a very good job. All right, so um, he really is that crazy? He has. I showed Bernie Sanders at the end there because the, they call each other the, the two most progressive candidates in America. He wants to abolish all private health care. He thinks energy policy with involving fracking or drilling is a stain on Pennsylvania. He wants to release one third of all prisoners. Uh, and when we have the biggest murder increase ever in the history of Philadelphia and we look under the hoodie because that's his garb, that's his costume that he's hiding under. But here's the thing. Greg, he is getting a lot of money from California and New York outsiders putting money into Pennsylvania. And I'm asking everybody, go to DrOz.com. The way I beat him is to get this commercial ones like it's shown so people in Pennsylvania who know who he really is. He's telling them he's a moderate. He actually shot a commercial before he had a stroke that is out there and is convincing people that he's you know, my kind of guy, working class guy, even though he's clearly not and doesn't understand what hard work really can do for you, I say, let's get the word out. So come to DrOz.com. Whatever you can contribute, please do it. Let's go fight back against these outsiders who are trying to buy a Senate seat in Pennsylvania. Full screen number one, please. This is from, I believe, the Philadelphia Inquirer. John Fetterman's parents gave him money into his 40s. Uh, Republicans say that undercuts his blue-collar image. Uh, full screen number two. Public records show that for a stretch lasting well into his 40s, his main source of income came from his parents, who gave him and his family 54000 in 2015 alone. Uh, Fetterman, 52, grew up in a cushy environment in York County. He, his upbringing helped him get an MBA from the University of Connecticut and a master's degree from Harvard without taking on student debt. Uh, well, up to, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, and when you look at the guy with the sweatshirt, that's not what comes across. He doesn't want anybody to know this stuff, does he? He doesn't, and that's why he's not leaving his home. He literally will not campaign. How many times have you seen someone try to become a Pacific servant without ever leaving their home? I mean, Joe Biden tried it, but he did once in a while go out, and we're facing the same reality. But here's the bigger threat. What does it say about democracy? If we would actually elect someone who didn't leave their home, didn't answer any questions, didn't speak to the public, and didn't hear the public's concerns. And that's what they're trying to do by putting money into ads that create a hologram of him, to a fictional version of him. And I say, no, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to go everywhere, every corner of this commonwealth. I was endorsed by the Fraternal Order of Police. They, it was unanimous. They are very, very upset with him for undermining the police at every turn. He doesn't respect the normal covenants of society. He doesn't appreciate people who run towards the fire. And these are all folks who are leaving him. Even the trade unions 
don't like him. They didn't endorse him in the primary, and they say, this guy doesn't understand this. He's not worked with his hands. He doesn't know what it's like to have to deal with a payroll or, or you know, making sure that a job is done right. And that's beca because of his upbringing. He actually is disconnected in many ways from Pennsylvania values. And this is the main message we're going to get out with our advertising. And that's why if you guys have tents, DrOz.com, don't forget, it matters. I put a lot of my own money into this race. A lot of folks have come into our help, but we'd appreciate every little thing you can do to make sure that we push back on John Fetterman and radical liberals like him. He is the most radical candidate for the United States Senate in a contested election this cycle. He's the most radical candidate we've ever had in Pennsylvania. He's out of touch with our values. Well, the fake news loves guys like this, as you know, and uh, they've been doing you know, portraits of him for a long time. Here's one of them. Listen to the reporter summarize how screwed up everything is in the town of uh, Braddock, where I think he was the mayor at the time. Go ahead and roll it, please. The collapse of the U.S. steel industry left this borough in the shadow of Pittsburgh in ruins. Trains don't stop here anymore. Storefronts are shuttered. Homes crumbling. Today, 90% of the population of Braddock has left. Less than 3,000 people remain. The poverty rate here is three times the national average. There is no restaurant or ATM, no gas station or supermarket. <laughs> okay, then you declare your campaign for higher office. That, uh, how, do you, how do you use that as a platform for anything? Well, he served as the mayor there. It was, you know, basically an unpaid job for years and years. And you're sure looking at it as the result of his tenure. The current mayor didn't embrace him or endorse him in this Democratic primary. I mean, folks in Braddock have no idea, uh, you know, what, what, what he thinks he can do. And the bigger problem is he had some really you know, racially tinged incidents there. He chased after an African-American jogger who was going in front of his house, you know, drove after him with a shotgun and, and stopped him and put apparently a gun to his chest in order to, to, to make a citizen's arrest. But there was no crime. And when the police came, they, you know, they separated them. And the guy did an interview later on saying, what did I do wrong? I mean, I went jogging as a black man through a neighborhood. I should not be chased after by a guy with a gun. These are issues that people in Pennsylvania don't know about yet. And what's surprising is no one's actually asking, where is John Fetterman? Are you going to come out and answer questions? Are you going to debate me? I mean, let me know what we can do together, because it takes two to tango. And at some point, you're going to come out and have to defend some of the radical left policies that you thought it was cool to embrace for all these years, because they don't make sense to Pennsylvanians. Dr. Roz, check it out, drroz.com. We appreciate it very much, sir. All the best. God bless, Greg. Thank you. You bet. And we'll be right back. J.P. Morgan CEO is warning that an economic hurricane is coming. Are you preparing? If you don't do anything, your 401k could be a 201k, and that is not good. So call our trusted friends at Lear Capital. For 25 years, Lear has helped investors own gold to protect against market chaos. It's a good thing. They can help you, too. Get your information and up to $15,000 in bonus IRA gold. Just call this number, 800-880-4300. That's 800-880-4300. Thank <laughs> you. 